New markdowns up to 70% off are at Nordstrom Rack Stores now. From fresh kicks to perfect gifts, there's always a find. Levi's, Paige, Frame, all the best denim. Why do I rock? Because check out these boots. I always score at Rack. Head to your Nordstrom Rack Store to find amazing deals on all things winter. Great brands, great prices. That's why you rack. We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast but the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just $2.79. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Throw it in your mouth and go. <laughs> Throw it in your <laughs> mouth and go. Yeah, well. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> and now, Cheese Wits. Buongiorno. What does this say? We are planning a girls weekend in Vegas. It's going to oh, be fun yeah. shopping awesome food. Cocktail or three. Poor her and, and, and that terrible inflation that's killing her. Yeah. Looks like uh, really she's going to have trouble affording groceries. She, she may. The, she may not be able to buy Cheerios. Oh, no. Because she'll lose all her money in Vegas mm. for two days. Mm-hmm. It's yep. so funny what people put importance in. So, 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 so funny. So, so, so funny. <sighs> What's going on? Well, you you don't feel well? I actually don't. I have a headache. Yeah, you kind of look like you don't feel well. You have that look about you. No, thanks. No, I, I mean, like, you, you're not looking terrible. I'm just saying you look like you, you, you just don't have that bright, sunshiny appeal you usually. <laughs> you couldn't even uh, finish the uh, sentence. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I could dig out. No, no. <laughs> good try, though. Yeah. No, no, I don't even think it was a good try. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it was. No, I, I, it's a, I had the most fucked up dream last night. Are you going to wait for Chris know. to get here to tell it? Yeah, it would, yeah I, I'll wait for me. It's just, it, 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 oh, it was just, it was just weird. It was Will just he be weird. joining us? Isn't he, he, didn't he say he was going to be somewhere? No, that was last week. Are you sure? I never know. He's always on the road, that guy. He was in New York last week. There, there he, he is. is. Just before I texted him. So I'm watching in old Hollywood squares. Paul Lind? And Paul Lind. Paul Lind is in the center square, right? Oh, Fantastic. And, and it's a beautiful show. And Peter Marshall, Peter Marshall says to Paul Lind, he says, you're America's most popular fruit. What are you? And he says, huh, humbled. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's, let's try to guess, Jess. Yeah. Paul Lind, is George Goble on the show? Uh, no, this was a later show. Oh, this no was George. a later show. Yeah. This was actually one of the Las Vegas episodes. Um, so it was probably 1980. <laughs> oh, oh is it, did you say it was a lost episode? Las Vegas. No, Las Vegas. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, can you imagine that? We found some lost episodes of the Hollywood Squares. Ooh. Yeah, this isn't the fucking honeymooners. <laughs> <Ooh. You know? laughs> yeah, I, I like I, re I remember my summers. My dad got so, dad got so excited when it's, oh, the lost episodes of the honeymooner. We have to get those on beta. <laughs> okay, Pop. <laughs> so, so Suzanne Summers is on live right now. I read. Yeah. Uh yeah. I somebody needs to tell the Alpha Beta Man. Unbelievable. Who are they? Yeah. Someone so, posted something, Jess, that Chris. Uh, yeah, somebody's posted. using. Um, somebody must be using Suzanne Summers' page. Okay. Because it says Suzanne Summers is live now. <laughs> like, you oh. sure about that? <laughs> wow, Mark Zuckerberg can do anything. That's that's it. the reanimation. They try the try they trying to offload some of those thigh masters they've got left over. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, poor Alan Hamill has to wake up and go. Huh, she's back. You know, she's back. That is the creepiest shit. That when 
when somebody dies and Facebook, like somebody in their family takes over their account and posts something or or send you a message or something. And it's like, the fuck? It is. It's weird <laughs> as fuck. I mean, I died three weeks ago. And well, yet here I am. You know, you sound be good for being ever. dead three weeks. It's because of that five hour energy I took. I'll be dead again by seven. Okay. Maybe <laughs> I need some five hour energy. I've been using, so I, I don't use that, that the five hour energy. I have tried five hour energy before. It tastes so fucking rancid. Mm. Well, if you can get by that, it's fine. It does its job. Yeah. But, but just, it just seems, and it seems like it just can't be any good for you. If you use too much of it, I have a friend who used, um, who drank the Red Bulls a lot. So did I, and it about killed me. Yeah, and about killed him too. He had to stop using it because of the fucking shit they put in it. Mm -hmm. Do the five hour energies? It, I don't know what it is other than caffeine. Um, something that's juice. <laughs> I think the thing is that. It's not necessarily that whatever's in it is bad for you. It's that you're not supposed to drink 82 of them a day. <clears throat> I only have one a day. That's it. One a day. Yeah, I, don't. I, I, I use, um, w when I think I'm going to need a little energy, I use Jocko, which is Jocko. Good. Oh, Jocko. It's pretty damn tasty, you guys. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's a nice Jocko. The Jocko energy drink is pretty nice. See, I can't, I can't do the energy drinks anymore just because, A, they go down too slow. I mean, the five-hour energy, you just throw it in your mouth and go. <laughs> throw it in your no. mouth and go. Yeah, yeah. well. Story it, of you know, my what? life. You do, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a fact? <laughs> oh. Isn't that a fact? So yeah. the, the people you name may know on Facebook. Yeah. Comes up, comes yeah, up with a name. And this name is the same as somebody you might have been married to. Really? And, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Oh, but there was no H on the end, so it wasn't. But apparently there's a radio engineer with that name without the H. You know, the um the there's somebody that I kind of know, like like she's an internet friend, um, mm -hmm. who is married to a guy whose first name is the same with the H. Uh-huh. And when she friend requested me um and we had, like we knew each other online years and years ago so i didn't even necessarily remember who she was and then she friend requested me and i did some research to see who she was and i saw all of our mutual friends and then i saw her husband and i was like wait a minute who the fuck is this <laughs> she picked up on my old man is she is she trying to play some kind of game with me right now and then <laughs> no it just turns out there are two of them Wow. Mm -hmm. Really? Wow. Yep. But well, he's apparently a better guy than than your guy with the H. Who could, uh, for, who could say? Uh, listen, Satan would be better. True. <laughs> okay. You know, if, if Jess had the choice, let, let, let's try this. Okay. Jess, if you had to get married again, would you marry no. E.D. or Hitler? <laughs> <laughs> well, Hitler's dead, so automatically the better choice. Which guy okay. with the H? <laughs> E.D. or Lyle Menendez. Well, yeah. you can go with Menendez. I could go with Menendez. Yeah, because he's going to get out and 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 and, and yeah. E.D. or Trump. Same. They're the same person. <laughs> no, no, no. One of them has much more power than the other could ever dream of. One of them slept around a lot. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on. That's both. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, they both um, bamboozle people and steal from people. Mm -hmm, uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're both they narcissists. Both, they both were investigated by by the FBI or something. Government entities. <laughs> Government. Yeah, they are the. Mm -hmm. God damn, Jess, you were married to Trump. Unbelievable. You'd think I would get better um, alimony, but no. Yeah, you think so? And I'm just so, going to say this on the on the on behalf of everyone. What is Jess got? You dumb bitch. <laughs> okay, thank you. It's a fight for America's future. Oh dear. More mail from my stepfather. Oh good. Oh, oh lord. It's from I Turning Point USA. Oh, Turning Point. Those are the Jesus people. America has always been a beacon of hope, virtue, and stability. 
tell the Native Americans that. But today, the greatest country in the history of the world is on the brink of disaster. This decline is not an accident. It's deliberate. <laughs> But once you and I clearly understand the problem, you'll see how you can help save America today. Are you listening to this, Wally? This is, I bet I can, this is why I can masturbate to her audiobooks right there. <laughs> you and I must rise up to fight and win the American culture war. When you make a gift of 25, 50, 100, <laughs> or even $500, you will equip young people with the resources they need to stand up for our country against the attacks of the anti-American left. Sons of bitches. <laughs> Them fucks. <laughs> Goddamn left is at it again. Your support of Turning Point USA will mobilize our army of 750,000 plus grassroots activists, inspire young people with American values, and rouse young patriots to take ownership of America's future through civic engagement and grassroots activism. And buy our founder a brand new jet. Yep. Oh, you know, it's such a Could you uh, give me that website track. address? Could you what? Can you give me that web address mm -hmm. so I could... Uh, I'll message you. Okay. I wish you would. I actually, I wish you'd give it out for all of our listener. Well, I just, it's just that I don't know where it is, but they are on Facebook at turning. <laughs> Neither Point do our listeners. USA. Turning point USA is, is a Jesus radio show. And that's where that's all coming from. This is, this doesn't have a web address, but it has an envelope. Do you want the envelope to send back your gift? Absolutely. Do you think fecal matter will fit in it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a there's a brief survey for patriots to identify important information about what you believe matters most in the fight for freedom. Oh, 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 please tell me. Please let me take the survey. Go ahead. Give me a question. Number me, one. Let's take the question. Uh -huh. Number one. Go ahead. What is the greatest threat to our nation over the next five years? Five to Blacks. ten years. Is <laughs> gonorrhea. No. What do you Wait say? Wait a minute. Hold what do you say? Wally said gonorrhea, I said blacks. What's the next one? Is it the swamp in the deep state, the Great Reset, or the American national decline? Wally, we didn't get that right at all. Oh no. Well, there is an Man. other. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put you guys down uh, for other. The Jews. Okay. Yes. No, 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 no. I want you to write blacks slash gonorrhea. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, you gotta you gotta do it and then send it in. You have to. In your dad's envelope. It's you so have to. Great. You have to. What's question two? Well, hold on then i gotta write this down okay no. blacks blacks with gonorrhea slash gun i don't even know how to spell one. gonorrhea it's okay it neither does any matter. trump supporter yeah. Go ahead. okay number two women. which issue do you think will have the most concerning long-term impact on today's young people blacks <laughs> wally <laughs> Uh, I can't beat blacks. Okay, yes, that's all you got. <laughs> Not write anymore, down. at least. That's what you got to write down. What's the next question? All right, blacks. Hold on, I got to write that down. Blacks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, uh, number three. Which policy issues are most important to you? Economic issues, social issues, crime and policing or mass immigration and open borders. This question does not have an other option. Those are your only four concerns. Oh, um, most concerned to me, my wife won't give me head anymore. I, I think you signed that contract 30 some years ago, Wally. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, uh, boy, I guess we have to pick, uh, something with a border, don't we? So mass immigration and open borders. I think mass immigration. How do you think the blacks get here? Come on. Do you want me to make Pick a it. note? How do you think the blacks, how do you? Yes. You, how do you think the blacks with gonorrhea get here? <laughs> the That's blacks and write. gonorrhea get here. Okay. Number Next. four, which of the following would have the greatest impact in defeating the radical left's agenda? Okay. Helping young people, empowering people of faith to speak their voice because, you know, they're so quiet. Ending the undue influence of big tech oligarchs or mm -hmm. other. Um, oh, does that mean that other? Mean um, Musk? Uh, what are we going to put for other there? Um, I, God. I, 
So, 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 so read the question one more time, Jess. Yeah. Which of the following would have the greatest impact in defeating the radical left's agenda? Oh, oh, killing Adam Schiff. <laughs> I think mm. that's it. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to do it. Trump, Trump wants to kill Adam Schiff. So we I think I think you need to just write down the Jews control Hollywood. <laughs> OK, yeah. Yes. Wrestle away Hollywood from the Jews. Okay. That's what you got to do. Number five, which of the following best represent your motivation for supporting Turning Point USA? Now, again, there is no other here. Okay. TPUSA's bold, outspoken, and unapologetic defense of America's core principles and national identity. Mm -hmm. TPUSA's effectiveness in reaching young people on high school and college campuses. TPUSA's online outreach and influencers, which have become a trusted source of news and information to fill the void left by fake news and aggressively biased establishment media. Or TPUSA's events, which offer a powerful way to meet like-minded conservatives and get plugged into a national movement to take our country back. You need to put a a, a line for other. Yeah, I'd like to draw a line there. I'd like to go with... um, Sleeping with closeted college boys. I, I was going be- to go with, I'd like a hand job from Rod Carew. Is <laughs> 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 Rod Carew still alive? I don't know, but he's black and Jewish, so we've got to combine it both. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I, I, I'll, go with, I'll go with the Rod Carew. All right. Okay. Why not? All right. Beth, please send that in. Okay. It would, be, it would be so great if they responded to it like stop sending us this shit. We're coming to get you. If I if I send that in, I'm crossing out any identifying information. I don't want to oh, get yeah. on more of their mailing. You don't understand how much fucking junk mail I get now that my parents mail is coming here. Well, your parents they they it sounds like your dad particularly was just he he was a shill for anything that anybody sent to him. Well, his Alzheimer's was developing for quite a while and he still had access to computers and a phone for quite a while. So yeah, the phone, is, the, the phone is fucking dangerous. Yeah. Look, I think I, that I'm just waiting to look at my dad's doing people's taxes and I know he's of good mental health, but I'm waiting for somebody to call me one day and says, you know, your dad says I'm getting a refund, but it had a Batman symbol there. What does that mean? <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> you know what I get? So I, I've, it, we, we give to a couple of charities. Um, I have not had to um, put a return address on an envelope in about 20 years because I always get the stickers from the Susan G. Coleman or Children's Miracle Network. Of course you do, old lady. SPCA. Yeah. My, it's because my wife has breasts. That's that's why we get that. I was getting those stickers, too, from St. Jude, but then I moved, so I had to throw them all out. Oh, yeah. I don't know that St. Jude ever sent me, and I I gave every year for many years. Mm. Did not give this year. They didn't give any. Well, you can. I actually started a fundraiser yesterday with the goal of raising $1,000 by Christmas, yeah, you already beat it, so I have already beaten that goal. So we've Good. we've raised the goal to twenty five hundred. So you can still give. Oh, I, I gave it the office. I was actually in a. Uh, I gave it the office last week, Jess. Yeah, I, I was actually in a St. Jude bowling tournament two weeks ago. Were you really? Yeah, they did one on uh, Mount Airy. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> Mount Airy. I didn't win. Oh. <laughs> you were in Mount. Did, did, isn't that where Andy and the boys used to go when they needed stuff from the big city, Mount Airy? The Andy Griffith Show, starring I, Andy Griffith. I, Go figure. I, I I think that Mount Airy is w- w- Mount Airy was where they used to go for the. Uh, well, Mount the, Airy is the real town that Mayberry is based on. Yeah. Mount Airy, yeah. Maryland. No, North Carolina. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> no. D- d- uh, so you think Andy from Mayberry is from Mount Airy, Maryland? No, but but that's the Mount Airy I assumed you were originally talking about. So then that, I was like, is. that doesn't that's make any sense. About. But Wally changed the channel, you see. Yeah. Wally, Wally, unfortunately, put on me TV when I was watching something else. Yeah. So, oh, my, my, it was my, uh, 
By the way, um, I, I told you last week my, my granddaughter turned 11. And one of the gifts we got her was one of those um, – inspir- it was an inspirational sort of something – it's a lot of things like you are beautiful, you are strong, you are this, you are that, and and it lights up. It's got little. <laughs> she told my wife, "I think Papa doesn't realize that I'm not a small child anymore, <laughs> and my likes have changed." <laughs> I'm like, "Whoa, wait a second! These are inspirational quotes for all women." Time to buy her a car. <laughs> Like, holy shit. <laughs> and then yesterday, she says, to where, where I, I went to pick her up <clears throat> at Jody's office. Oh, I have another thing to tell you after this. And she says, um, <laughs> <laughs> it just hit me. So she says, um, uh, she had a little note for, for her dad. And I said, oh, a note for your dad. Don't forget that. What's that about? Something from school. She said, oh, I had to have some ibuprofen today. And I needed a note for her. I said, what do you need ibuprofen for? She Oh, period cramps. <laughs> just bum, bum, bum. like this is just stuff you don't want to hear from your eleven year old granddaughter. Oh, period cramps. But Girl, she's, she just says it. Just be a good woman. for her. Oh no, which is great. Which I am so so glad about. I wish somebody it's, had told had told me at that age that I didn't need to be embarrassed by that. Yeah, we're so glad. I'm just so glad she said it. But it's just she just said it right now. So as you know, um. A, a about a year and a half ago, my son had a little problem with the law and alcohol, or so they said. Okay. So he hasn't had a license for like a year and a half, and and uh, he decided that his court date was coming up, and and he wanted all the evidence, and he was going to represent himself in court. Oh. Oh. Yes, I'm with you both on this. And so he went to jury selection on Thursday last. And they did the jury selection. And uh, then they went into the judge's chamber. And the judge said, do you have any questions about any of this? He goes, no, the the only thing I have a question about is I want all of the evidence they have. And so the the, the judge said, well, let's see what's left. Yeah, I see you don't have all the evidence. And he asked the district attorney about it. And the district attorney said, Oh, no, he hasn't. And this, the judge says, no, he does not have all the evidence. It lists right here this, and he does not have this. So you have until tomorrow to get this done because Monday's a holiday, and Tuesday they're going to trial. Friday morning, my son gets a, a note from the court of clerk, the clerk of courts. All charges have been dismissed. Wow. Yeah. And those charges were resisting, um, uh, I guess, maybe driving, or resisting the uh, whatever a cop told you to do. It just there was a list, three, four, five things. Dismissed. Boom. Hello, Matlock. So now my daughter and I are calling him because he has tattoos. We're calling him the, the tattorney. <laughs> 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 he is now the attorney. He's not the Lincoln lawyer. He's the attorney. <laughs> but imagine that. So all along, we sort of believed that the, 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 that the uh, police and the district attorney were being deceitful and just, you know, uh, most of most legal cases are, are plea bargained. Oh, we have this and we have this and we have this and you're going to jail forever. And then they look for you to, to take their, their ridiculous offer, and then they chalk another win up for themselves. Mm-hmm. My son said, nah, I got the time. I'm just going to ride it out. And, and, and it took a year and a half for a maybe, maybe you were, maybe you were, he wasn't even driving. He was just sitting in his car. Maybe you were drinking, maybe not. They didn't breathalyze him. They didn't blood test him. They didn't field sobriety him, nothing. So they had nothing. <laughs> and it just now he's walking around like he is the tat attorney. So that's Good what we call him. him. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that, you know, sometimes the, the law, even though we love the law and I like the law, sometimes it is pretty deceitful mm, for sure. There is a deceitful, there is a deceitful side of it that you have to be very cautious of. Hey, Chris, I thought you were away this week. You weren't, huh? 
Oh, I was. I was in New York last week. Yeah. You see? But yeah. Oh, Jess was. Jess, I would never question whether you were right or not. Mm-hmm. I just thought he was away again. I thought he was going away again. No, no, no. Not this week. I have. Um, I don't think I'm going out of town for the rest of the year, um, other than going to the beach and shit. I don't think I have any work trips. The beach? Yeah, I'm going to go down to the beach this weekend. I got to make sure everything's okay at the condo since nobody went down for the condo meeting a couple weeks ago since my parents' car was stolen and just blah, 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 blah. Oh, so, so have they got a new car? Did they pick something out? Um, no, no, not yet. Um, I actually haven't heard a word since my mom sat on several pieces of trash and declared this car uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. So... So, yeah. so she hasn't given the car another shot without the trash no. in the seat. <clears throat> no, I, to be fair, I haven't seen them since then. Mm. You know, um, I, I going over to their house. I mean, at at eighty three years old. I mean, as you know, watching your parents, you know, go down that path, Jess. It's um, it's my instant cure for happiness. Whatever happiness I may have mm-hmm. is yeah. going into that house. Mm-hmm. And I can go for about ten minutes, and then all of a sudden, it's like, oh God, there's my dead brother's shit. Oh, God, there's my other dead brother shit. Oh, look, there's my future dead parent shit everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, what am I going to do? This is overwhelming. I have to go. Mm-hmm. Oh. You know, it's, it's, it's literally, I can stand about 40 minutes over there. I got to tell you guys, I'm right now, I'm feeling quite blessed that I have no parents. Yeah, you are. Well, I mean, and it, it, it's, it's one of those things, Wally. I mean, you know, it's, it's great that they're around and I, I like that they're still mobile, but you know, I, I, the finish line is coming and it's coming at an accelerated fucking pace for those people. Mm-hmm. And you know, the fact that I'm going to have to deal with this shit when, when my mom, uh, not my mom, uh, cause my mom's family, they, they live to be fucking cockroaches, but my father, his mother, um, and father, his dad died at 72. So he would have been 34, 35. Mm-hmm. Okay. His right. mother hung on for a while, but, um, you know, the, the, he got to clean out that house and move her somewhere else when he was quote young. Okay. I'm now knocking on the door of 50 next year and I'm going to have to be getting down on my fucking knees and these goddamn attics and labyrinths that he's built in this house to store shit in, you know, it, it, it's yep. going to be easier to take a match and kerosene to that fucking place. Listen, my cousins, uh, whose mother is my mother's older sister are going through the same shit that I just went through with my parents' house a few months ago, mm-hmm. except that <clears throat> where my parents and their hoard and their oof, disgusting house was after a year and a half. My mm-hmm. aunt's house is 17 years of hoarding oh, and oh, letting oh. dogs shit in the house. And oh. apparently now she's um, she's wearing adult diapers, but nobody's throwing those out. They're just piling no. up on the floor when she gets no, done with fine. them. And... No. She has, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know who this guy is, her boyfriend or whatever who lives with her, but apparently he's fully, like, she's, she's basically bedridden. She's, she and my mother have very similar situations going on. She can't get around without a wheelchair, but this dude is apparently able-bodied. So I don't know how he's living in the house like that, but my cousins just showed up there this, this week and um, they had hazmat come in. And check the place out wow. to oh, see if no. it's just to see if it was, you know, if it was worth trying to clean up and replace the floors and and all of that, or if the house just has to be condemned. And Hazmat said twenty one thousand dollars to clean it up. That's a lot of shit. Plus, plus replacing the floors, painting the walls, buying all new furniture. <laughs> oh, so that's just to clean the garbage out. Yep. Oh, fuck me. Yep. No, why stinky? So last night, uh, who got sprayed by a skunk? Oh, oh Henry. Henry, what are you doing, buddy? He got sprayed by a skunk, and he smells so fantastic. Mm-hmm. He took the direct hit. Yep. He, he, and so he's just fucking disgusting. But he's still Henry, still a great guy. My, <clears throat> I was going to tell you, my whack, I had this fucking a whack of little dream that uh, woke me up. And then I couldn't get back to sleep. In my dream, I was driving. 
and uh, just driving in the middle of the day, driving, and it looked to be the Hollywood Hills. I've driven in the Hollywood Hills several times, and it, it felt like the Hollywood Hills. It was curvy. And coming, coming towards me, uh, uh, coming on the opposite side was one of those guys on what was a guy on one of those sort of um, road bobsleds, you know, that you, you, it's sort of like a skateboard, but you lay down on it and you, 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 oh, yeah. you ride it okay. downhill. Well, he's on the op op side of the road, all good. And I look at him for a second in my dream. And then I look up and there's another guy on my side and I run right over him. Oh shit. <laughs> in my dream. And I have to, I pull over again in my dream and I call the ambulance and ambulatory people come and he dies <laughs> and I wake up and you know, this all takes place in like, as we drink probably 20 seconds, right yeah. in your, in your head. And I woke up and I could not get, I was so fucking like distraught by, cause I drive a lot. You know what? I had a dream a couple of weeks ago and my friend asked me if it was because of of this con of a conversation that we had because right. in my dream I was with shithead again and he made me feel he he was doing his usual shithead shit and he made me feel the way that he used to make me feel and in the dream we had been out somewhere together and I decided I wanted to go home early and he was going to stay out for a little bit longer I said cool he didn't make it home all night. I got up in the morning, left to go get groceries. When I came back, he was home and said, so you didn't come home all night? Where the fuck were you? Were you cheating on me? Oh, my God. I was pissed off wow. when I woke up. I spent the whole day pissed off. Oh well, my. this is an average day for you. No, more <laughs> pissed off than usual. Oh, okay. Okay. Like she was no coffee pissed off. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh yeah. Fucking now I have not had a dream like that. I used to have some when I was young, I used to have some pretty fucking horrible uh dreams. Um and a, a lot of my uh youthful before teenage years or, or during teenage years uh therapy stuff dealt with these recurring dreams that I had that had to do with being a youngster. So I, I really haven't had a disturbing dream that disturbed me in a long time until I kill, I kill a guy on the roadway of toboggan or whatever. So holy, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's hard to believe that, you know, it's a dream, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You're like, I'm aware it's a dream. You're aware it's a dream, but still you're fucking rattled by it. I had dreams like that. Like the one you were talking about when I was a kid that I can still remember today. Because they oh, just freaked the me out so badly. Yeah, I used to have to do a, a therapy thing, and I still use it sometimes, a, a racing brain thing. So I'll tell you what my dream was, and it's directly associated oh, yeah. with my youth. So my dream was I was being chased by a woman, a grown woman. I was a kid. And while I'm um, running my clothes are falling off me <laughs> and uh, eventually she catches me and I am uh, at a cliff's edge and I'm going to fall off the cliff. So a lot of my therapy was teaching me how to weird as it sound fly so that I wouldn't fall off the cliff. Mm. That's what, what therapy was about, about uh, doing some stuff before you go to sleep that says, okay, if you get in danger, you're going to do this and blah, 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 blah. And you, you tell yourself these things before you go to sleep and then it works. Interesting. It absolutely, it absolutely works. Um, the stuff I do now has to do with calming your brain down. If you're, because you know, sometimes when you're fucking, you've got like 8 million thoughts and they're just going bing, 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 bing. And you can't shut those thoughts it's just ideas yep. and shit and you can't stop them from going because your mind is just sometimes it's not just ideas sometimes it's there there was one time i remember this because i brought it up with my doctor when she was like well what kinds of things are keeping you awake and i was like listen last night i couldn't think of the name of jim beam i was like there's jack daniels oh. and what's the other one yeah. and i had to get up and pick up my phone and Google it so that I could figure out the name of Jim Beam that I couldn't think of. That's what was keeping me awake. I am with you on this. And usually when that happens to me, it's because I've got other thoughts going that, that, that keep like, they're like 
blocking my train of thought. Mm -hmm. So there, there's this there's this exercise that I do where you <clears throat> close your eyes and you envision color. You say, okay, I want to see green. And you can't move on to the next color until you see green in your mind's eye. And then you, you, you move on. And then <clears throat> the other part is you, you just tell your body, each part of your body to relax, okay. Negative energy is leaving your... I've this tried part. that. I, like listen to meditation that talks you through that and I can't you know, do it. I don't it. listen to it at all. I just I say it to myself. Yeah, I can't. I, that doesn't work for me. I can't do that. The okay. Bi yeah, I can't do that shit. I mean, I've been taking a lot of Tylenol PM lately and some may say that I'm right. addicted to it. Okay. Yeah. Because it tastes so good. I mean, well, it doesn't taste good, but it does its thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been having these dreams. And last night I had a dream that there was a bunch of dead people, dead, dead radio people. And they wanted me to host the morning show on the Christian music station they were signing on in DC. And I, I remember saying to one of the guys, you fucking want me? And <laughs> yes, yeah, you're perfect for this role. And then I got in the elevator and got stuck. <laughs> but <laughs> the only time I will have dreams like that is from Tylenol PM. Mm. Is, there, is there melatonin in Tylenol PM? I don't know, but it's so good. <laughs> yeah, I, the, the melatonin, I cannot, the melatonin, I've only used it a few times. To, it, it gives me bad dreams, melatonin does. It does not agree with, with me at all. So that's why I do the other thing. Mm. And the, uh, the, the, the stuff that I've been doing since I was, you know, 12 years old. I'm going to try that color thing, but I don't think that but that other thing I've tried that relaxing body parts one at a time that doesn't because yeah, then I'm like, I, what does it feel like when it's relaxed? I don't even know. And then and then I start thinking about like it. I literally start going off into other thought directions when I try to do that. So so and and the, the way I quit the, the other thing I learned about quitting the, the racing head thing is alphabet out of order. Is you say the alphabet out of order in, in some different order, hmm. um, and, and because you I have guess to focus on that. Yeah, there, there's you have to really focus hard on it because we know the alphabet so rotely A B C D E F G. We don't know S B X whatever. No, so I, do do, it, say I used to order. try counting backwards from a hundred. That didn't work. What are you going to try, Jess? Counting backwards from a hundred. No, not now. Well, you said you were going to try something different. Of oh, color. The colors thing that Wally said. Okay. Well, just remember, if you do, you'll never go back. Okay. So. <laughs> colors. Colors. Just, colors. Oh. Oh. Colors. Oh. oh yeah. I didn't hear the S. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Sometimes I get mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you heard a D instead of an S. I got I you. did. I did. And I didn't want Jess to fall asleep thinking of Red Fox. <laughs> so. Yeah, he's just he's just a bad guy. He's a bad influence. Yeah. Red Fox, he is terrible. Oh, Red Fox is funny as fuck that guy. God almighty. I love I I I do like the red I think <clears throat> so the, the Red Fox and, and and a lot of those um stuff that we remember from the 70s and uh I think that people have forgotten how fucking hysterical and funny and smart that shit was mm. dude if you could sit back and watch all in the family again you know every episode look at Je jess is so frozen right now on my computer i'm not frozen jess is gone Maybe yeah I'm she gone. is oh there she is jess we didn't hear you for like you were in a Je so jess frozen. are you still the are you there jess i am here okay good because i mean you looked like you were uh well, embalmed. Yeah, you weren't moving for like 20 well, seconds. Well, are you recording? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Be did you have an issue? I I'm guessing just no. computer, just shit, 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 shit. <laughs> no, my computer seems to be working fine, but if it froze up for both of you, then it may be about to shit the bed again, so. Oh, or it might have just been your internet connection yeah, might have yeah. taken a shit. Might, yeah, be. it might have just been that. But yeah, if, if uh, you were saying if you go back and watch. Which um, all in the family. Oh. You know, there and, and it's coming up on TikTok, which TikTok's doing some disturbing shit now. I mean, people are people are showing their titties on TikTok and you know, well, everybody's no. oh yeah. Not oh, in my yeah. algorithm. Well, it's coming up in mine and 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 the the um the meme of John Amos 
from um, Roots keeps coming up. You know, the way my boss wants me to act is what the thing says up top. And then it's John Amos going, oh, I'd be good. I'd be good for you. I'd be good. And Lauren Green saying, yes, you can stay, Toby. Oh, shit. You know? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, and that that. that How did you get on Clan up. Talk? <laughs> yeah. No kidding. <laughs> no kidding. That's exactly what it feels like. That's exactly what it feels like. But speaking of clan talk, so they're doing the Archie Bunker show um, and it comes up in pieces. And it was um, you watched the show years ago, yeah. didn't you, Wally? I mean, Jess, yeah, I don't absolutely. know. I assume you did. But yeah, I did. So it was the Christmas episode, Archie versus the draft dodger. <laughs> OK, just unbelievably funny shit. What is going on here? Uh Oh, Wally just went away. He's frozen. So it's not me this time. You're frozen and it sounds like you're in another room. Okay. How about now? That's better. I can hear you. I can't see. You're still, your picture's still frozen. Is it? Yep. Oh, that sucks. And it's frozen. It's frozen with you looking like this. (laughs) 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 Oh, that's terrible. Is that what you're seeing too, Chris? Uh, let me look here. Hang on one moment here. Let me pull up Wally's picture. I'm going to, I'm going to screen that. Me. I'm going to let these dogs out. I'm going to screen. Yeah. Wally, Wally, you just, you look like you're about to smoke a blunt from your microphone. I'm going to screenshot this. So I can send it. Why is he leaving? He's taking his dogs out or something. Yeah. I mean, it's not like we're in the middle yeah. of a thing. That's yeah, not morning drive. Right quick. Otherwise, he's going to be crazy. Well, so look I'm, at your look at your Facebook Messenger so you can see what you look like right now. <laughs> All right, let me. Oh, oh God! Oh, fantastic! <laughs> oh, that was oh, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I'm. Uh, I don't. I don't like that, you guys. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I don't like that at all. What is this fucking thing? Continue without restoring. Enter your pin. I don't fucking know. Hey, do you get that um, message to sign into uh, what is it? How it Copilot. No. On. on uh, so whenever I start the computer now, because I use Microsoft Edge, it's continuously asking me to um, sign into sign on to Copilot. I don't it's, use Microsoft sorry. Edge, so I don't even know what that is. Yeah, it, it's new. Well, it's new and exciting, Jess. Are it's you one of like the four AI. people that was you one of the four people that was affected when Bing went down the other day? No, I don't. Oh, I, I don't use Bing. I, I usually use um, DuckDuck. Oh, good God! How about that? Maybe you are on the fucking right side. How about that? Well, that's all. All, all the all the right side conspiracy theorists use DuckDuckGo. Do they? Oh yeah. No, I use I use DuckDuckGo, and I use. And so the reason why I use Duck Duck Do is be- Duck Duck Do, duck, duck, no, <laughs> because, oh because it doesn't show up on my phone because it fucking just litters my phone with shit on, on searches whenever I use uh, the the Hello Help Me Out on my phone. Show uh, me your Google phone. The Google yeah. Assistant. <gasps> no, not Google phone. You guys, I got it. I got it. There was I was watching TikTok earlier today. And there's this woman who um, is from West Virginia. And let me see if I can find the video. Enough said. Well, no, the, the, the video was actually really funny because she was like, I'm from West Virginia. And that's how she talks. Like all of her, all of her videos, she's loud and she talk like this and she got away. And she's, <laughs> so she's like, there is a pizza place and it's in the holler. It's not my holler, but it's one of them. And she says that, and my Google assistant pops up. And she goes, and the name of the pizza place, and it types out in the Google assistant the name of the pizza place. And I was like, wait, what just happened? So I start her video over again, and right where she says, it's not my holler, but it's one of them, Google pops up again. Somehow, Google hears her voice saying, it's one of them. And thinks that's me saying, hey, Google. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. So, so what is the name of the pizza place? 
Possum oh. Holler Pizza. Possum Holler? Yep. Come on, this it sounds like Petticoat Junction. <laughs> possum Holler, Possum Holler Pizza. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know what? I do not like that I cannot see myself on this thing. I look like Chris right now. Would you like to disconnect and then reconnect, Wally? Yeah, I'm thinking I, I'm, I'm, I think I might. Yeah, you th I think you should because you're still like, and it's really distracting. Oh, there he goes. And now this musical interlude. Possum Holler Pizza. Hey, Google. And see, when I said, hey, Google, a second ago, it didn't make my, oh, now it did. But when I said it a, couple, a second ago, it didn't make my Google thing pop up. see if mine will go on. Hey, Siri. Yeah, it doesn't come up when it's on the thing. No. Yeah, when we're on. But if I say possum holler, it'll do it. <laughs> All right. Am I moving now? Yes, kind of. Oh, well, look at you. Slowly, kind of hey, pixelated, you're, but you're there. I have started to take, so my, my fucking, the, the, the back pain I have and, and and all the shit, the the broken back thing. I have started taking, um, which is essentially mitol, Pambon, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. because it has it does something. I'm not really sure what it does, but it, it relieves cramps and bloating and stuff. And I, I don't have bloating or cramps, but the shit makes my back feel a lot better. Oh, like like bloating is really just from the bloating and the cramps is from like inflammation. So it's reducing yeah. inflammation. Yeah. So I, so I, I just started, I said, I gotta try to find something. And so I said, well, what the hell I'll try it. And it, it works. It, it's, it's, it's not, you know, it's, it's better than Tylenol alone. This, this shit that I'm using, uh, I use a, a Tylenol and then a, uh, a Pam bone and man, pretty, pretty good shit. I'm, I might be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to tell you guys, I recently had some great customer service from from Walmart. What again? Yeah, well, I might have to here. before at Walmart. I might have to take back everything I have ever said about them. No, you one time remember the time you got the really good bra information from the Walmart girl? Yeah, but this. I had ordered a thing. I had, okay, full disclosure. I ordered a couple of um, big bags of coffee because I didn't want to be without coffee in case people got stupid and bought all, bought all the coffee at the grocery store. Oh, so I thought, let me just order a couple of things of it to stock up and, 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 and everything will be fine. Well, what they sent me was smaller packages than what I ordered. And that's when I noticed that the seller was not Walmart. The seller was somebody else. So I sent a note to the seller and said, hey, this is what the listing said. This is what you sent me. This was not a good price for what you sent me. This was I only paid that price because of the size of the, the thing. And then I sent an uh, I went on chat with Walmart and I said, listen, I already sent a, no a note to the seller. And by the way, it was delivered five days ahead of schedule. So wow. that was cool too. So I so I go on the chat with the Walmart on their on their website and I said I already sent a note to the seller but I just wanted to be on record with you guys that this was the situation in case the seller doesn't get back to me. And this dude goes I am so sorry for your inconvenience. Rest assured, I will do everything in my power to make this right. Blah blah blah, like over the top. And I was like, dude, like. It's, I mean, it's Dude's cool. blowing smoke up my ass. Right. So, I mean, it's fine. It's whatever. And he says, he looks into it and he says, I am so very sorry for the inconvenience. I am also going to send a note to the seller to ask them to respond to you. And because of your inconvenience, here's a $10 credit. Wow. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? Wow. And then the next day, the seller got back to me and was like, so sorry for your inconvenience. Here's a three dollar credit. Wow. Okay. All kinds of credit. I'm not mad anymore. I just got two big packages of coffee for three dollars. Look, look at though, Chris. Jess's priorities. I got to get coffee. Uh huh. Of course. If things go south, I got to get coffee. I'm not going to have any water to make it with, but I'm getting coffee. Listen, 
If I got to piss in the cup and mix the coffee in it, I'm having coffee. Anybody who knows me knows what a good thing for society I did by ordering that coffee. It's just so funny. The things that uh, people are, people just, they do this panic buying and not that that's panic buying. It's panic buying. And, and, and but see, so the difference get, is I bought two normal size packages of coffee. That you want it to be extra large though. That I wanted to be a little bit bigger, but they were, but, but it was, fun. but, but well, I didn't buy, podcast, I didn't, what is that you girls, why is it always going to be a little bit bigger? I needed a little bit bigger. Well, because oh. um, all of our lives, we've been told this is six inches. Yeah. So <laughs> yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. Well, good for you though. Yeah. So now you can go out and buy another bag. Mm-hmm. What is your preferred coffee? Duncan. Oh, speaking of Duncan, I went and I stopped this morning and got a Duncan. Fucking price. It used to be like in a medium hot three and three and it's uh, $3 and 12 cents. Oh no, not this morning. This morning, $3 and 58 cents. Has it there been $3 and 12 cents for like 20 years? Yeah. And I said, Hey, whoa, the price went up. Oh well, yeah. A little bit. Uh, it's like 12% higher. That's more than a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, you realize what this does to you. It eats into your tip. Cause I'm not breaking out extra money to give you a, make sure you get a dollar. Who are all these people? When it's, when it's $3 <laughs> and 12 What's cents. What's the deal? With, with the Duncan. <laughs> when it's three twelve, I'll give them $4 and 25 cents. So here's a dollar tip and change. I'm not going to give them more than four bucks for it because I'm not giving them a dollar and 50 cent tip or whatever it breaks so up. So you're yeah. punishing the employees instead of the company? No, I'm just, I, I have a, I have a place where I am comfortable buying the coffee at because now I can make it way cheaper at home. I can go to the store and I can buy the Duncan Keurigs and or Keurig and some Duncan extra, extra, extra extra stuff you pour out of the bottle creamer mm-hmm, 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 <laughs> and and, mm-hmm. and i can make 20 cups for what they're charging me for two cups mm-hmm. no not doing it jess i'm just not doing it or else i'm gonna have to get one of the dunking cards and always play, pay by the credit and then you never get a tip i never actually knew how much specifically how much cream and sugar they put in when you just ask for your coffee with cream and sugar at Dunkin'. Right. And a few weeks ago, I went out, I met a friend for, co- well, it was Brad. Brad, who has joined us here on the yes, on the I show like a couple of times. Met up with Brad at Dunkin' for coffee. And uh, I asked for large coffee, cream and sugar. And then he ordered his mocha, whatever, latte, blah, blah, blah. And... When they brought my coffee up, he said, large coffee, six creams, and six sugars. And I went, what? <laughs> oh, oh. Is that me? <laughs> wow. I said, I just I just, I just, said cream and sugar. Is that how much you put in when I just say cream and sugar? And they were like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> fuck. But, but. I didn't want to know that. Just make it and don't tell me that you put that much in there. Well, I'm not sure that a packet of sugar is a is a teaspoon. No, probably not. Much less. No. So you're probably three teaspoons of sugar. But, but they don't use they don't use packets, Wally. They push the button on their machine that goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. yeah. Well, and God I, knows what measurement that is. Yeah. I get three shots of liquid sugar. I get three three and three. Three liquid, three cream. Is that what you kids Boom. call it? Yeah, that that's that's what we call it, Bob. A little bit of liquid sugar, baby. A little that's bit of liquid want. sugar. Get yeah. you uh-huh. Drop some of that liquid sugar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> giggity, giggity, go. <laughs> go is right. <laughs> yeah, but but no, they they just they just go up in the price, and there's no warning of it. You know, you just get up there, and it's oh, it's three fifty four today. What? What? You know, at least when you go to the grocery store, you get to look at shit, and you say, oh, let me make a decision. Once you've ordered it, it's hard to turn back, right? I mean, they do, say, do they do put eh. their prices up on the on the thing, so you can still no, look at the decision. No, we don't have any prices on our shit. Really? Not through the drive-through and not at 
but not at. They don't put fish. prices on the they, on the sign at the drive-thru. What? No, what? I don't, not not on coffee. I don't see it. I what? Or maybe it's there and I just don't see it because it's there. Just you a, go, sport. Just go in. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't I don't know that I ever notice it that, that it's on there. It might be. I'm going to look tomorrow. Oh, I, I only go like once a week. I'm going to check, though, next time I drive through, see if they have the list. You won't remember. And even if you look no, tomorrow, you well, won't remember to tell us next week. Well, I will. I, no, I, I, you're right. <laughs> I wish I could I say I will remember. Yeah, I I, I won't. I, I just I won't remember. It, it's not, hey, I, so. um. I did not get that job. I think I told you guys at LL Bean, right? Oh no, you didn't uh, yeah, tell us. Yeah, I thought he did. I thought he. Uh, oh no, he just alluded to the fact he wasn't going to get it. Yes, yeah, I, the, the bad interview. But I got to. So here's something that I realized mm -hmm. uh, from there from from the the whole interview that it is impossible to sit in an interview. At least for me, it's impossible to sit in an interview and have certain questions like, um, "What is." Well, when you were faced with this problem, blah, 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 and how did you take care of it? When you were faced with a, a, an employee who was a terrible employee or, or challenged your authority or whatever, how did you deal with it? It is impossible to go back in a 30-year, in 40-year career and pick out something. Hmm. It's just too hard to do. It's like, oh, here's a highlight. This highlight right here. Because at a certain point, it just becomes regular, right? Oh, I have this problem. I'll just take care of this problem. Mm -hmm. I'd like fuck them up. Highlight. It's not your highlight anymore. You don't have a highlight. It's it's not a big deal to take care of shit anymore. Well, interviewer, I told him if he ever fucking talked to me that way again, he would be fired. But now he's dead, so it's fine. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I killed the motherfucker. That's what happened. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I handled it. I killed the motherfucker. I, like... So, so after the fact, I started thinking about certain things that happened. And one of them that came to mind, do you remember we had a guy, Jess, that worked for us in, um, that, that worked in, 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 at KISS who had like seizures. He had like epilepsy and he fell through the big glass window and broke it. And Norma wanted us to, me to pay for it. Yeah. He was like, somebody with a handicap. <laughs> was it, the, was it, was his name like JD or something? I don't remember his name, but what I remember is Norma. Was he the guy the I made cry? Yeah, yeah, Chris. So so we had a guy who worked for us. He was just a part-timer, but he had epilepsy or something. He had seizures, and he happened to have a seizure. And we had these really tall, tall, um, like, uh, I don't know, 15-foot windows that were about two feet wide in the Quonset hut. And he had a seizure and fell through one of them. <laughs> And the, the bitchy owner said she wanted me to pay for the, me, personally, me, to pay for it because I hired somebody who broke the window because he had, he had a, 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 a handy, whatever the fuck she called it well, at the time. Well, technically, she hired you to hire the guy. So also Wait she knows, she knows how little second. she paid you and she would know full well that you can't afford to replace that window. Oh, Wally, Wally, yeah. why'd you hire a cripple? <laughs> That's, you don't even know how close you are to that voice. That was correct. <laughs> it was a good guess. Is, now say, so, well, where is all the toilet paper going? <laughs> Where's all the toilet paper? She smoked. I, I'm telling you. <laughs> so I, I, the last, I don't know, 25 years of working in radio, you were not allowed to smoke in the building. No. And, and certainly not in the studio. This bitch smoked probably three packs a day sitting at her desk playing solitaire playing solitaire mm -hmm. and she did sound like this mm -hmm. <laughs> sitting in there playing you're interrupting my solitaire game i wally <laughs> you hired a cripple i gotta ask you a question do you want your you want your cock sucked i'm just curious she was do you want to come over for the seder we're having a seder do you want to come over for the seder <laughs> She did invite us to Seder one year. She never invited me to Seder. Um, she invited me to Seder, and 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 I, you know what it was? I I, I think it's because you weren't management. Mm -hmm. You want to yeah. tell? I want to give you a fantasy because you know, I I'm a Hebrew and I want to talk to you about my fantasy, <laughs> but you can't tell anybody. <laughs> but I want 
I want to skip Shoal one Saturday. <laughs> and I want you to fuck me in the ass while I'm down on all fours eating pork out of a dog food bowl. That's what I'd like. <laughs> would you would you like to play Wally? I could give you an extra three cents an hour if you help me out. You just you just you really have no idea how close you are to, to all of it. Just a fucking biz, just a bizarre woman. An absolutely bizarre woman. There was nothing about her to like. Mm -mm. I, I I really and I have I don't believe in all of my life I have met anybody who had no redeeming quality. And she had no redeeming quality. She yep. really didn't. She was a right. horrible, horrible human being. How do you say that? Why would you say that? I gave you an Arby's gift coupon. <laughs> Why would you say that? If she gave me an Arby's gift coupon, trust me, it was taken out of my check on the yeah, other end. Yeah, I was going to say, it wasn't free. Yeah. Debit. Debit that dollar. Jack. Jack. Debit a dollar fifteen from Wally's check. <laughs> He took he the obvious coupon. Now, he got now the say, now spot. say, don't cash your check until after two o'clock. Hey, oh. don't, don't cash your check until after two o'clock. There it is. There's uh, some irregularities within the Flava stat from <laughs> There was, the, the, and this again, an absolute truth. Jess tells, you can't cash your checks till after two. I don't even think she would let us leave the building until after two, just to be sure that we wouldn't go straight to the bank I, and cash. So I wouldn't even go to my own bank to deposit the check. I would go to her bank and cash the check. Oh, and then that's take what the we have to do. Cash. Yeah, the first um, yeah. station I had in Gaithersburg, this crazy old bitch named Sandra owned the station. And Sandra... Sandra would have so much shit in one of her offices that she had to move offices. She didn't clean up the shit. She just moved to another office. <laughs> and you'd always have to race to the bank on Friday morning when you'd get your check. And you would go to her bank. You would not go to your bank. Mm -hmm. You would go to her bank. And I remember I called one time. So is there money in the account? Yes, there is, sir. I got there. There was no money in the account. <sighs> Everybody else beat you to the bank. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It was, the, it was the same at this point. You'd, you'd have to at least wait till two o'clock because we want to be on the next business day. Yeah. <laughs> Got to be on the next business day. Don't oh cash God. checks till tomorrow or after 2 p.m. And and she would she would not. Ha Here was the other thing. So, you know, in, in most places you'd go in and if it was if payday was Thursday. People would be there, you know, they'd come in Thursday around lunch or something, pick up their check. Oh no. If you didn't start work until 3 p.m., hell, hello, Shannon. You didn't get your check to you till 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. Or if you started your shift at 7 p.m., you did not get your check until 7 p.m. That's right. When you got to put out. And then for sure so you can't cash it until uh, until right. the next business day. Somebody would actually be there waiting. At 3 p.m., yes, not, not at 7 p.m. She would just put it out before she left at 5 because then the bank was closed. Yeah. I'd put it out in my dog food bowl that I want you to fuck me with pork chili in. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some of those pork canitas. <laughs> Give me a big <laughs> plate of pork canitas. Hey, Wally, I want to see your pierogi. Come here. <laughs> oh, God. All right. On she that note, you guys, I I got to go. I got work to do. I, I got to go. I got I got to throw up. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye. Bye-bye.